The phylum Glomeromycota is a very unique group that is not very extensive as far as mycelium development goes, but is of extreme importance. This particular group is found associated with roots of plants and forms what are called VA mycorrhiza. That stands for vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza. They're called that because the spores on these look like little vesicles. The hostoria that are formed by them look like little Christmas trees on the inside of roots. There are two basic groups within this phylum. One of the groups produces single spores. The other group actually forms a sporocarp. And the sporocarp is what you see on the right-hand side up at the top. This is a small closed mushroom-like material. If you were to put it on a microscope slide, it wouldn't look like a mushroom. The other type has single spores, such as the one that you get down on the lower left-hand side. This is a common plant root that has been treated to clarify clarify it so that it has become transparent. It's stained with a dye that will allow the fungal part to become darker in color so that you can see it. In the center of it, you see this vesicle, which is actually a spore. There are other types of formats over here. You can see what looks like vesicles. Also, you can see what looks like the little Christmas tree-like structures if you look around. That's why these things are called vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae. Sometimes they're just called arbuscular my mycorrhizae. The interesting thing is the mycorrhiza helps absorb phosphorus by the plant. There are many plants out there that have to have mycorrhizae in order to be able to grow in a certain area so that it's able to pick up proper amounts of nutrients. When we look at the glomeromycota, it's a very specialized group of organisms. The way that you find these is you do an analysis of the soil in a centrifugation flotation technique, which we will talk about when we get into nematodes. When we do an analysis for nematodes, we can also find these types of mycorrhizal fungi.